Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Tommy Campbell, still bald, still in my basement, and if you knock on my door by mistake, I'm still just saying, sorry, wrong house, I think it's three doors down, have a good night. Well, it was a big week for Dominion and their lawyers who did not let Fox News get away with the lies about their company, and Dominion has said it's just the beginning. Ooh, Mike Pillow ain't gonna like that. Fox cut a check for $787.5 million, and that is a lot of steak sandwiches. And God says it's not gonna go how they want it to go. And so that's why I wanna encourage everybody. He is, Clay is giving you information about what you know this thing is about, but God is also telling us the end result. We see what's going on right now. God sees the end result. God is saying, don't worry about it. And everybody who is trying to indict our president will actually be indicted themselves. First, God told her Trump wouldn't be indicted. Now God says that everyone that's indicting Trump will be indicted. So what, the Manhattan Grand Jury are going to be formally charged with a serious crime? The send me money, I have a direct line to God false prophet is doing everything to pretend God is looking out for the criminal adulterer con artist with a private passenger plane who wants you to send him money. It is pouring MAGA tears. Fox News had to cut an enormous check for their lies, and no matter how rich your company is, 787 million has to smack. So fill your cups and mugs, let's get into that and more. Kevin McCarthy's ATM automated teller machine skimming BFF tweeted, Proof that there is a conspiracy taking place between corrupt lawyers and unprofessional journalists. I'm getting very close to cleaning my name and reputation very soon. Naturally, I replied, which name are you cleaning? George Santos, Katara Ravash, Anthony DeVolder, or George Santos Goldbergstein? Kaiser Sose's slow cousin didn't just embellish. He's a flat-out liar with a past so sketchy his last name could really be Bobert. Don't eat the donuts, folks. This is good news. Fox Corp and its cable networks agreed to pay $787.5 million to Dominion Voting Systems to settle a defamation lawsuit over the repeated false claims that Dominion voting machines manipulated the outcome of the 2020 presidential election. The settlement averted a trial that would have seen Fox's main trash-spewing hosts, Tucker Carlson and Sean Hannity, publicly testify along with network boss Rupert Murdoch. Dominion CEO John Poulos told reporters outside the court that his settlement was historic. Now, I also have to note that when he went to speak, this legend was behind him with this sign. <laughs> Fantastic. John said, Fox has admitted to telling lies about Dominion that caused enormous damage to my company, our employees, and the customers that we serve. Nothing can ever make up for that. Throughout this process, we have sought accountability and believe the evidence brought to light through this case underscored the consequences of spreading lies. Truthful reporting in the media is essential to our democracy. Fox had to pay because they would be exposed even further if they went to trial. I mean, through discovery alone, we found out that all the Fox hosts were saying they didn't believe the lies, they thought Trump was a joke, there was even phone calls from leaking hair dye Giuliani and more. Trust me, it would have been a treat to see Hannity on the stand and to watch Dominion take them all the way. This has been really bad for Fox. Could it have been worse for them? Yes. But Dominion could have also not have done anything, but they did, and they're walking away with their reputation. They valued their own company between 30 and 80 million, so they received 10 times their company value from Fox. That's pretty amazing. Now, a quick tour around news sites shows that it's the top story. Everyone is talking about this everywhere. It's on the front page of CNN, MSNBC, BBC, CBC, ABC, CBS, and on BS, it's nowhere to be seen. Not a peep from Fox. I'm not surprised, but this is huge news. It's everywhere. Their viewers cannot escape this, okay? I'm super high, but me and Eric have been talking totally discussing this again and again. We want to meet this bouncer that my father, the one that he paid off, because apparently there could be another sibling around. And like, if they're as hot as Ivanka, then maybe we have another chance. Maybe we can actually make this happen, okay? We are just done with fighting with Kushner. Even the warts on my post want in on it. It's time to bone. Now here's Jake Tapper attempting to read the statement from Fox. I'm sorry, this is going to be difficult to say with a straight face. This settlement reflects Fox's continued commitment to the highest journalistic standards. We are hopeful that our... Sorry. 
We are hopeful that our decision to resolve the dispute with Dominion amicably instead of the acrimony of a divisive trial allows the country to move forward from these issues. Fox had to pay out three quarters of a billion dollars for feeding you nonsense. Can you stop believing them now? Dominion also has lawsuits pending for Newsmax, OAN, Rudy Giuliani, Sidney Powell, and Mike Lindell. Fox is also facing a lawsuit from the other voting machine company, Smartmatic. Yes, they have a $2.7 billion lawsuit against Fox News, claiming 100 false statements were broadcast by Fox News, hosts and guests. Smartmatic's attorney, J. Eric Connolly, in a statement said, Dominion's litigation exposed some of the misconduct and damage caused by Fox's disinformation campaign. Smartmatic will expose the rest. Smartmatic remains committed to clearing its name, recouping the significant damage done to the company, and holding Fox accountable for undermining democracy. After two years, your favorite president is back on Instagram to promote my new NFTs and have easier access to Ivanka's bikini pictures. She's terrific. This is really cool. Donald Trump has released more NFT cards, and to mock the ongoing stupidity of Trump and his clueless base, here is my popular dub of his first NFT card release. Hello everyone, it's Diaper Don, your least favorite president of all time. Worse than Nixon, worse than Buchanan, with an important announcement to make. I'm doing my first official Diaper Don NFT scam right here, right now. They're called Dump Digital Trader Cards. Dump cards feature some really ridiculous artwork pertaining to my life and career. It's embarrassing. You can collect your dump digital cards just like a foreign bride or other disposables. I have sores on my mushroom parts. Each card comes with an automatic chance to win awful prizes like a dinner with me. I don't know if you like wall hamburgers, but that's what we have or golf with you and a group of dumb friends at one of my tax havens. I put sheep on one to claim it as a farm and buried my ex at Bedminster to claim it as a cemetery because Trumps don't do taxes. We're screwing a lot. My official dump digital trader cards are $99 extortionate for AI pictures that look nothing like me. Buy one and you will join a very exclusive idiocy. It's my idiocy. It stinks, and you're going to regret the worthless turd that you bought. They also make perfect griffs, so fall for them with your credit card or crypto. Man, person, woman, camera, TV. Go to YouTube.com slash Tommy Campbell and watch him slay my stupid con right now before Melania is gone, and she will be gone. This is my first official dump trader card NFT collection. And you get a chance to sleep with Ivanka when Jared's in Saudi Arabia right now. And remember, Christmas is coming, and this makes a great Christmas grift. If you're considering buying this product, please get help. George Santos announced he's running for 2024, which is shocking he can run again since his bad knees halted his pro volleyball career. Peel, is it true that you have an OnlyFans page and you can peel a banana with your feet? I don't have one, and it's, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll indulge you this. I just discovered what OnlyFans was about three weeks ago when it was brought up in a discussion in my office. What do you think? And I was, ve I was oblivious to the whole concept. <laughs> uh, uh, he just can't tell the truth. All right, so... Uh, he just can't tell the truth. Even the host on the entertainment channel for Married Cousins knows George Santos Goldbergstein is totally full of it. Who is your favorite volleyball player? Um, Anna Tiemi, she's a... Brazilian female volleyball player. I prefer watching female volleyball, by the way, not male volleyball. Uh, beach volleyball or hard court? Uh, hard court. Sorry, beach volleyball watcher here. I actually love that he was thrown this one and that he rattled off a favorite Brazilian player. That's his strategy. Just throw two names out there, say she's Brazilian and nobody would challenge it. But I did. I mean, I've looked everywhere and found nothing. Now, I've tried every variation of Ana Tiame. Unfortunately, I could not find any Brazilian female volleyball player with this name. Maybe there is an Ana Tiame, and if you find her, please let me know. But for now, I give this a solid five dripping Giuliani's on the fail scale. 
the announcement from George Santos Goldbergstein has been met with zero fanfare. Yeah, nobody cares except the FEC. See, it has the spotlight on his finances since Santos reportedly earned 55000 and held no assets but loaned his campaign more than 80000 That was in 2020. In 2021, evil Forrest Gump had more than $11 million in assets and claimed to be making 750000 a year. Bit of a jump there. Don't eat the donuts. Yeah, because we've got an ongoing bet. Uh, he owes me like three or four rounds of golf uh, because he said Trump was going to be uh, installed in March after the election, then it was August, and then by the end of the year. And yeah, and I said, I don't think so, Tommy. There's, you know, there's uh, there's a constitution and and. and so Tommy, when do you think President Trump's going to be back in office? Are you, he is? Do you think he's going to be back in office? Be back. I think he'll be. Definitely elected. If, if not, something happened this year, I believe, you know, he could be installed anytime. There are some other Just keep moving the goalposts like dollar store Burt Reynolds. If you're going to listen to a Tommy, I hope it's this one, not that one. My apologies to fans of my Lauren Boebert genuine page readings. I got a little behind this week with filing taxes, dealing with lawyers, had some computer problems, but remain Mountain Dew strong. The fun will continue soon. Thanks for sticking with me. If everyone had a gun, you would be safe because protection surrounds you completely. Why is that so hard for you to understand? 2A USA. Mega tears. Stop that foolish throwing things at the screen. I want to see these idiots' faces. You are not being funny. You're annoying. Mega tears. When you take you Trump with this witch hunt, you only make way for his son. No matter what, we will have a Trump back in the White House. Mega tears. Sigh. This is just embarrassing. Mega tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by joining us in the comments, sharing this video with a friend, and following me on social media. I am a one-man show here from script to screen, the editing, even the graphics please throw me a tip with the easy PayPal link or hit that super thanks button and be sure to check out my mugs that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries and I've toured with Jim Jeffries for nearly 10 years. I have three albums and a brand new EP from my opening set on Jim's latest Netflix special. You can stream these on Spotify, Apple Music, or catch them on Sirius XM. Thanks for helping me make this show possible. Life short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.